pork loin is one of those blank canvas meats, satisfying in its own right and a terrific foil for whatever big flavor ingredient you bring to it. The Reuben is the ultimate American sandwich. We're going to fuse them together, you guessed it, on the grill. Start with a three pound pork loin. This comes from Duroc pork, one of those old timey heritage breeds that are grown for flavor, not just for yield. Using a chef's knife, butterfly the pork. That is make a deep incision, almost to, but not quite through, the other side of the pork. Then open the pork loin up like a book. Place a piece of plastic wrap over the pork Flatten it with the side of a cleaver. Now first, season the bottom of the pork roast with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then fold it back over and season the inside of the pork roast with more pepper and more coarse sea salt. Now paint the inside of the pork roast with Dijon style mustard. Arrange strips of pastrami on one side of the pork loin. Top the pastrami with sauerkraut. Top the sauerkraut with Gruyere or Swiss cheese. Fold the second half of the pork loin back over the first. Now let me show you how to wrap the pork loin in bacon. Arrange six lengths of butcher string crosswise on a sheet pan that correspond roughly to the length of your pork loin. Next, lay two strips of bacon on and perpendicular to the string in the center. Take your pork loin Reuben and lay it in the center of the string on top of the bacon. Lay one strip of bacon on one side, another strip of bacon on the other side, and two strips of bacon on top. Now, bring the ends of the strings together Loop them through once and twice, and that second loop gives you a surgeon's lock knot, so you can pull the string tight, and it will stay in position. Then tie it off to close the roast. Then continue looping and tying the strings to close the pork loin ribbon. Trim off the ends of the strings, to indirect grill the pork, I'm using the ABC Slow and Sear Charcoal Corral. It has one section to hold the coals, a center section to hold water, and a drip pan on the other side. Take a chimney full of lit charcoal and add it to the coal section. Fill the water reservoir with water. This will create a moist environment for grilling. The humidity helps the smoke adhere to the meat. Place the grill grate in the grill. Take your pork loin Reuben and place it on the grate over the drip pan away from the heat. To monitor the cooking time, insert the probe of a remote digital thermometer through the center of the meat Last step, you want to add wood chips to the coals to generate wood smoke. I'm using apple here. Place the lid on the grill with the vent holes opposite the fire. That way the smoke will be drawn over the pork loin. Adjust the vent to attain a temperature of about 350 degrees. Cooking time for a pork roast this size, one and a half hours, and I'll Keep an eye on the temperature with the receiver part of the digital thermometer.
as a sauce for the pork loin Reuben, a classic Russian dressing. It starts with mayonnaise, chili sauce, and sweet pickle relish. Combine the ingredients in a mixing bowl and whisk to mix. Yup, that's Russian dressing, all right. You can see how easy it is to make from scratch. Now let's check on the pork. 154 degrees, the pork should be ready. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Take out the thermometer probe and take the pork loin Reuben to a cutting board. First, you want to remove the string. We'll cut off the end. It's smoky, it's succulent. What I'm smelling are the intoxicating scents of pastrami, sauerkraut, and Swiss cheese. To serve the pork loin Reuben, I thought I'd riff on the classic sandwich. So I have some grilled rye bread and I'll spread it with Russian dressing and place a slice of the pork loin Reuben on top. Let me do another one. I'll take a slice. I want some of the pork, some of the filling, some of the bread. Mmm, the smoky pork, the spicy pastrami, the tart sauerkraut. It's a perfect fusion of barbecue and delicatessen.